So what is up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech and the Samsung Galaxy S8 has been announced. I actually just got done watching the live stream and I took some notes here and we're basically gonna vlog and just talk about what I found most exciting about this device and I wanna hear from you. So this is basically a vlog, a chat style video about the Galaxy S8. So I got the S7 here, which is already starting to feel old now that the Galaxy S8 was announced. Uh, the Galaxy S8 is going to come in two variants. We have two phones, a Galaxy S8 and a Galaxy S8 Plus. So for those of you who are looking for a massive upgrade in terms of screen size, you don't like the small Galaxy, there's no longer a, you know, a smaller Galaxy. They now come in 5.8 inch and 6.2 inch variants and they have a new aspect ratio, 2K, so the rumored 4K resolution on the S8 is not happening. They come with 3,000 and 3,500 milliamp hour batteries, respectively. So, same battery level as basically the S7 and S7 Edge, but it should improve in battery life due to the Snapdragon 835, the first 10 nanometer processor in any smartphone. Basically, that means that you can really just take this phone and make it a computer by using the new Samsung DeX that they announced today, which allows you to link your smartphone to your monitor and make your smartphone basically a whole entire computer just like what Microsoft tried to do with Microsoft Continuum but what's pretty awesome is the new infinity edge to edge panel it's not like this is anything new this has been leaked and rumored everyone already knew that Samsung was gonna do an edge to edge screen 2017 is the year of edge to edge screens we had it on the G6 that should have gave us a hint to know that you know Galaxy was gonna deal with the Galaxy S8 but here it's really beautiful. It spills over the sides and it's basically a mesh up of the Galaxy S7 Edge as well as the Note 7 that didn't make it. So if you've seen the Note 7 and you've seen the S7 Edge, it kind of looks like those two phones combined. That's just my personal take. That's what I noticed right off the bat when watching this live stream. But it's a really beautiful phone overall and definitely going to be upgrading for me when it becomes available. So Samsung Bixby was announced and this is an AI assistant that is designed to compete with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, as well as Siri. And I think Samsung is onto something here because it has AI learning. It, unlike the other assistants, this one does bring a few new features built in that it's gonna actually have contextual awareness. So pretty nice stuff here. Um, we're still in the early phases of IoT and things like that. So I don't know how good this thing is actually going to be this big seed. We're just going to have to see when I actually get the Galaxy S8. I should be getting it on launch day. Well, as soon as pre-orders become available. Those are actually available tomorrow. But I'm going to have it probably when it releases around that time or a little bit later. Android 7.0 Nougat comes to these devices. So right out of the box 7.0. It's not 7.1.2 like you can find on the Google Pixel. But hey, 7.0 is still pretty late software here. Pretty current software. So also the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus come with 12 megapixel dual pixel cameras. OIS and a front 8 megapixel camera. I'm a little bit disappointed about 8 megapixels on the front. I mean the OnePlus 3T has 16 megapixels on the front. But hey, we're going to have to see if those 8 megapixels shine on the front camera of the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Which I think they will. But, you know, I didn't really like the 5 megapixel in the older Samsungs like the S7 and S7 Edge. Also, Samsung Pay improvements, they just basically added more banks. And every Galaxy S8 comes with AKG headphones. That's pretty sick. They're putting a name brand headphone right in the box of your Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. And they did not remove the headset jack. So 3.5 millimeter remains for the Galaxy S8. Thank the heavens. And uh, also, they removed the home button and they, removed, they put the fingerprint scanner on the back, but they kept the heart rate monitor. So nice stuff there. And that's pretty much it. I mean, we don't need to talk too much. If you want to learn more about Galaxy S8, you can read the blogs all over the internet. But I just want to give you my take on it. And I think this is a really innovative product here for Samsung. I think they're really pushing the boundaries this year. And finally, we have something that is, I wouldn't say it's like, oh my God, different than other smartphones. But it's definitely a new design. It's a new f it looks a lot different than the phones we have been seeing, the same old boring designs year after year. And uh, it's a very nice innovation here this year with the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. 
Will it be, you know, like when we first seen the first iPhone or the first smartphone ever? No, that, that era is over. But still, to see a radically different design from, you know, the Galaxy S7, which was a killer smartphone, as well as the S6 and the, you know, the S4 and all those older Samsung phones, this thing is really, I think, going to sell like hotcakes. What do you think about that down below in the comment section? Let's chat about that. I will be getting back to all your comments on this topic right here so let us know down below s7 edge that one was a nice one but this is just improves on that design there so yeah that's pretty much the galaxy s8 and s8 plus i did give you some information here so let me know what you guys think are you going to be picking up the samsung galaxy s8 or s8 plus comment that down below like i said this was just a vlog talking about it we will have it on the channel so subscribe if you want to see content from this channel versus all kinds of different phones as well as a review, unboxing, camera reviews. It's going down on everything tech. I will catch you guys in the next video. Be sure to be well and peace.